Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. Cancer's next. I love it. Cancer's next. <laughs> that card kept wanting to jump out. I should have just took it. <laughs> How are y'all feeling? How's the energy been? Oh my goodness. Y'all been doing good? Um, the energies kind of felt all over the place. Definitely feels that way. Um, tons of synchronicities, major in the flow. Um, a lot really going on, especially in the unseen realms. So let's see what's going on with cancer. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, so there's something that's needing to be balanced. One eleven on my clock. Your commitment's being tested. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay, so um, you need to release something connected to your commitment. What do you need to release? Yeah, I'm feeling it. And then here you show up. You and your loved ones are safe. Luck is on your side. Okay, um, release maybe something that you're doing when it comes to balance, spirituality, and practicality. I almost felt like there's a block there. There's something that's needing to be released. Self-doubt, maybe? Faith? Believing, 202 on my clock, believing in yourself, believing that you got what it takes to move forward. But there's something connected to balance, spirituality, and practicality. Being able to balance 5D with 3D. Being able to balance being in the flow and taking action. Okay, one more, please. Yes. Mm, that feels good. Definitely cycles have completed. Oh, wow. Okay, the death card came out, so let's clarify. Pluto's been showing up a lot. <laughs> clarify the death card for me, please. Two of clubs. Okay, so this may be coming with the Pluto retrograde. That may be why uh, this is showing up. All right, so. Um... What's holding this up? Definitely cycles have completed. There's new beginnings, new cycles that are going to be starting. You're needing to have faith in the direction you're going in. There's definitely something very spiritual showing up. Must be why Pisces is showing up. Okay, so under balance for spirituality and practicality, I get the will of fortune. So fate's definitely at hand. I get the world and the will, to, will of fortune. Okay, Seven of Swords, and then the Queen of Swords. Now, 414 o'clock. The Seven of Swords to me is kind of like the creepy dude that's trying to come into your window. And you're like, yeah, no, thank you. You need to stay out. Okay, so cycles are definitely completing with the weirdos. Okay, getting crystal clear about what it is you're wanting to do. What it is you're wanting to move towards. Your commitment's being tested. You've definitely had to lay down the weight of the world. And really step into your passion and building what's, what's good for you. OK, 
okay because I get the the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles the only one that's not here is the Queen of Cups where's the love because that's what's screaming the loudest and when I clarified the death card I got the two of cups okay so you need to take action moving towards what it is that that brings you back to that childlike, playful, passionate, um, joyful self. There's definitely something that you're meant to be sharing, sharing with others. Uh, my phone just went off, okay? Because I get, get the hermit, okay? Um, meant to be the beacon of light, shining the light being a guide for those around you and then moving into the future I get um, you know maybe moving towards a younger earth sign could be a Scorpio okay for love Right, and it's definitely going to be a major transformation once this takes place because it looks like you know, definitely have I have divine counterparts, queen of coins and king of coins showing up here. You need to release the burden, release feeling left out in the cold. I get one, two of the aces. Okay, let's see if there's going to be a past life connection. Um, you're definitely leveling up here. I feel like you're leveling up. It looks like you're leveling up. Many areas. I really need to tap into the heart. Need to bring love into this. One more, please. Okay, um, it could be leaving something that was cold, putting that down, finding your passion, your value within yourself, and moving towards something that's going to have love. Okay, definitely new beginnings. Could also be having a baby. Releasing negative self-talk. Yeah, definitely feel that too. That's a false sense of being in prison. And this takes me back to the witch trials. Being afraid to really step into your value. Step into who you're meant to to be and really moving in the direction that's going to be better for you. This is definitely something that's faded, destined, destined to happen. Okay, let's see where we're at in the heart space. Thank you. Okay, definitely going through, feels like some heart chakra purges, heart chakra awakenings. Uh, definitely um, energy upgrades are taking place. Don't dim to fit in. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? This could be with the past situation that you're letting go of. And star mother, how can you mother yourself? Self-love is going to be key. Really nurturing you. Growing. Into who you're meant to be growing into. Really moving towards something that's going to be um, very loving grounding all right guys 
if this reading resonated with you, 10 one on my clock. Um, my email's below. Should I have my website fixed uh, within the next 24 hours, 10-10, 10, 10, 10 11. And um, if you want to jump in on the Angel Workshop, uh, that link is also going to be below. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.